Welcome back to the program. This is Kivumbi 2017, right here on KTN News. Definitely, this is your election headquarters. At the time, we've, you know, our reporters are spread all across the country. Duncan Khamba is going to join us shortly from Busia. Hamza Yusuf is in Garissa. Francis Otomwa in Mombasa. Moremi Mwangi uh, is also going to tell us more from Kiri Nyaga. But for now, we're joined live by our reporter Trix Ngando, who's coming to us all the way from Kakamega. She is at this moment at the uh, Kakamega, Kakamega's police headquarter. And uh, Trix, uh, good afternoon. And what more can you tell us? Good afternoon, Yusuf. So we are here at the police headquarters in Kakamega County. And of course, in any election, we know that the various players that are uh, making sure it takes place uh, peacefully and everything flows well include the police. So, of course, we're going to try to find out how they're going, they're working towards this and what are the measures that are being put in place uh, to ensure that this happens uh, peacefully. Kakamega is not known for any conflict uh, or any problems during its election, but of course we can never be too careful. We know that the number of, of officers that are being deployed across the country are, have doubled since the 2013 uh, uh, elections. We had 95,000. Then now we are having 180,000 trained police officers who are going to be manning uh, polling stations. And this preparations is definitely going to trickle down to the county level. So right now we are here at the police headquarters just to find out out what's happening on that end of things and just to make to see how what the measures and what the challenges are in terms of that kind of um, preparations. Uh, Trix, many thanks for that update. Of course, I believe you will have an interview with the regional uh, commander there. At the same time, as much as you're going to have that interview, can you bring us up to date on some of the dynamics, you know, what's the front runners as far as uh, the Kakamega politics is concerned? Well, first of all, let's talk to to uh, Moses Ombati, the Western Region uh, uh, Police uh, Commander, who's just going to give us an update on some of the preparations and some of the measures that they are putting in place to ensure that things flow smoothly in this part of you know um, the con the country. So, welcome, uh, Mr. Moses Ombati. Could you give us uh, just an update? How have you been going uh, uh, around preparing for this election that is taking place just a few hours away? Mm, thank you, thank you so much. Now. Uh, the western region with four counties that is Kakamega, Bungoma, Busia, Vega uh, are, are all prepared. Uh, we have received the, the materials already with us. They are in the constitu constituency warehouses and they are well um, taken care of. We have enough officers uh, who are uh, providing security uh, to make sure nothing uh, 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 unusual takes place. Then from there, well, what we are waiting for now is the movement to the tiling, um, uh, polling centers or polling stations where we have again deployed officers accordingly. Apart from that, we have taken care of the other areas, including the normal, the normal uh, operations for the, um, uh, for the ordinary Kenyan, that is, those ones who will be doing their businesses maybe after or before they go to, to, the, uh, to do the voting. Oh, okay. So we, we have considered all the areas that we we, we, we we know probably there could be some problems, areas like um, uh, Mount Elgon, uh, some parts of Bungoma and parts of Kakamega. We have already uh, mapped up and we have deployed officers accordingly, just waiting for the day to come. Now, any particular conduct that you expect from the people who come to vote? What are some of the measures that you expect people to, or the behavior you expect from the voters on the ground on that particular day? Now, I think uh, the, the members of public have already been uh, educated on how the exercise is going to take place. They know what to come with. They know uh, uh, that after voting, they just leave the place uh, so that, you know, others also can get a space. To, to do the same. At the same time, once all of them have done, we expect them to leave the place and they, we wait for the results. That is, the IPC to give us the results. Mm -hmm. We are there to make sure whoever is coming to do the, uh, to, to do the, uh, during the, this exercise, it is done peacefully safely without any, any any problem in the region are there any particular hot spots that you have your eye on that maybe you've deployed more officers or to taken more stringent measures to make sure that in anticipation to the election that nothing goes wrong 
Okay, we are following with what we had uh, during the uh, 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 nominations, areas where we had some problems like Sinyalu, uh, Bungoma, Busia, that is Budalangi. We, we have already taken care of, including Mount Elgon. We have done very good uh, uh, deployment of officers. Officers from this region, all of them have been deployed, plus others that we have. Uh, uh, have been assisted from other other areas and I think we are comfortable, we are set for the exercise and we are appealing to members of public that we really expect their maximum cooperation in that they know what they are supposed to do and that is what we are going to, to, to enforce. We will make sure they enforce peacefully and, and leave their place to their homes peacefully. Are there some challenges that you have faced in enforcing and putting in place all these measures? Uh, it's only that we, today morning we had some information that we are still working on uh, for the purpose of um, getting it clear to us and taking the necessary action that there are some groups moving around um, um, telling other businessmen to to close down their businesses um, so that they can uh, leave the place and, until maybe the exercise is done. But we are saying we are here to make sure the normal operations in the country continue peacefully. Mm -hmm. And that's why we, 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 we have uh, already deployed officers to investigate the, the, those claims and, and, and at least once we get the truth, then the necessary action is going to be taken. Otherwise, for now, I don't see anything unusual. I don't think there is anything that can make members of public fear they should come in big numbers, do their um, uh, 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 constitutional right, whereby they vote and select their own their own leaders. All right. Thank you very much. That is Moses Ombati, the regional commander of Western Region, which was the previous Western province. Um, so he is going to be manning that whole region. I believe, Yusuf, you did give us a, a bit of... Um, um, you did ask about what is the, the political situation on the ground is. Well, right now, the mood is that is really calm. That is opposed from locals who have I have spoke to. That is opposed to a few days earlier where there were people across the streets campaigning. They were dancing to Isukuti drums and, you know, the typical Western Kenya campaign mode. But now that uh, election, uh, uh, campaign mode was shut down, uh, there isn't much activity going on, just a, a, a sense of preparedness, a sense of anticipation for the upcoming election and you know of course all the talk and discussion on the streets is that is that they are anticipating to vote for their preferred candidates as far as the the, the politicians go we know that the, in Kakamega County there's going to be a huge runoff run between Bonnie Halwale the, the current senator and the incumbent uh, uh, weekly for Prana who both of whom we're going to try and catch up with and just see some of the policies some of the promises they're giving to their people why they feel they want to run for office as governor what they have to offer for people in this region, we know that Western Kenya has a huge resource, um, uh, has huge resources that could be uh, taken advantage of. But of course, economically, this has not come to fruition as many people would like. So whoever takes office uh, this time is going to be the person the people here feel is going to tap into the resources here, including the human resource, the people here, uh, workers, a lot of them are unemployed, a lot of them are grappling with poverty. So that whatever candidate takes office on whatever level from MCA to the governor's seat has to be someone the people feel is going to work for the betterment of the people of Kakamega County. One final question before I release you. Of course, opinion pollsters have placed the number of undecided voters between 2.2% uh, to 5%. And they're saying a huge percentage of these undecided voters are based in Western Kenya. Of course, Kakamega is also in Western Kenya. Have you managed to talk to some of the people on the ground? Have they made up their mind? Well, Western Kenya is largely known for a sense of voter apathy. A lot of people do not take uh, actually register, and of those who register, there's a large number of people who actually don't make their way out to vote for their own personal reason. So this is a huge problem that politicians have to grapple with, just getting people out of their houses to go out and vote. And of course, this has to do with their faith in the leaders that are vying for various offices. So this is something, the numbers are quite huge in a number of places, especially 
especially in places like uh, um, Lurambi and we have um, Malava, the, the numbers are over 60,000 vo reg registered voters. But it is a sense of uh, a voter apathy that people have on politicians who are running for office have to be apprehensive of because uh, they might be having a support base, they might be coming for a region that has a lot of people who are registered voters, but then will they actually go out and vote or are they even decided to uh, on who they are going to be voting for? So that's a huge problem here in Western Kenya and hopefully for whoever has their st uh, high stakes in this election, they're going to be coming out or it's going to be different. But this is of course going, it has been a, a, clar a clarion call from politicians. People come out and vote, but only time can tell. We'll be keeping an eye out on, on the turnout during the vote, the kind of voting that takes place throughout the election, just to see, did they, did, are things different this time round? How many people voted as, as opposed to those who are actually registered uh, according to the IBC registers? Thank you very much, Trix, for that comprehensive update from Kakamega. And of course, our viewers should appreciate the fact that Trix is coming to us live all the way from Kakamega via a video phone. We are deploying everything here to make sure you don't miss anything as far as this very historic election is concerned. And speaking about IEBC on, on how well they are prepared, of course, they are busy distributing you know, all the crucial election materials that are needed on Tuesday. And they had released a press statement uh, indicating about you know some full 45 uh, polling uh, stations will be without network. So let's listen into what uh, these officials had to say about that. Ni kwale county kule maeneo ambao hakuna GCM. GCM ni Safaricom, U, Orange, Airtel hizo. Kule ambako hakuna kote huko ndo area ambao wame tabiri kuwa itakuwa ni tabu kuleta majibu. Hiyo ni wazi, hata bila kuambiwa na mtu yoyote. Lakini kwa sasa hivi, tuliwafundisha hao presiding officers wetu, wakisha kusend ile message, watapigia picha, watasend, wakiwa pamoja na watu wote. Hata simu yako, kisend message, ikiwa wajapata network, ikifika mahali kuna network, yenyewe ya fanyani, ya pick. Kwa hivyo, pale mbele za agents, utakuwa usha send ile message. Ikifika mahali kuna network, ita pick. Lakini pia, kwa kuengeza nguvu tu, tumezungumza na watu wa hao providers wote wamejaribu kuziboost hizo areas ambazo tunasema zina shida wamejaribu kuziboost na njia ya tatu tumenunua satellite satellite phones ambazo zitatumika area hizo pia kwa hivyo tuwajaribu njia zote ili kuwaletea majibu haraka ilizekanavyo